Safety standards in the electronics industry are established requirements to promote the safe and efficient use of electrical products. The ultimate purpose is to protect anyone using or handling electronic equipment from potential hazards associated with their use. In this video, you will learn about standards organizations, certification bodies, the different certification marks used for power supplies, and how each mark is associated with various regions around the world. First, let's define what a standards organization is. A standards organization is an entity whose primary function is to produce, interpret, and govern technical standards. These standards are the foundation for the design, implementation, and operation of electrical products. It addresses the safety, efficiency, and compatibility of these products. This includes anything from phone chargers, medical devices, lighting fixtures, and other industrial equipment. Some of the main standards organizations that are common to power supplies and responsible for governing electrical safety standards are the International Organization for Standardization, normally abbreviated as ISO, the International Electrotechnical Commission, commonly just IEC, the European Committee for Standardization, or CEN, and the European Committee for Electrotechnical Standardization, or simply, CENELEC. While standards organizations are tasked with the production and governing of electrical safety standards, they write the standards with the input and feedback of industry stakeholders. In our industry, that would include the power supply manufacturers. This is where safety standards must be practical and producible in high volume manufacturing. Some standards organizations are also regional. For example, UL and CSA also publish standards for safety in North America. This is especially true when the standards are written specifically for this region. Certification bodies are responsible for performing the actual testing of the safety standards. In some regions, certification marks are legally required if the product is being used for commercial purposes. In other cases, they are effectively essential for a product to be marketable and sold in most regions and industries. Let's review some of the most popular certification bodies and their corresponding certification marks. In North America, we have certification bodies such as UL, Intertech, and CSA International. These certification bodies authorize the use of their logos on the products in the form of certification marks. These marks can be used to quickly identify that a product has been tested and certified to meet defined standards. In the European region, examples of certification bodies include TUV Rhineland and VDE, both of which are based in Germany. Another common certification body in this region is NEMCO, based in Norway. These certification bodies are qualified to issue ENEC certification. Commonly pronounced as ENEC, this certification mark demonstrates compliance with European safety standards. Japan has a mandatory mark for products that fall under their electrical appliance and material safety law. This law is referred to as the DENAN, or PSE law. Compliance to this law is denoted by attaining the PSE mark. A PSE mark can be attained by submitting the product to a nationally recognized certification body. In Japan, it could be TUV Rhineland or UL. In South Korea, they have what is known as the KC mark, or Korea Certification Mark. The standards organization that governs the KC mark is the Korean Agency for Technology and Standards. A certification body approved for KC mark testing would be the Korea Testing Laboratory. In Taiwan, products may need BSMI certification. BSMI stands for the Bureau of Standards, Metrology, and Inspection. They are not only Taiwan's standards organization, but they can also act as a certification body for the BSMI mark. In China, they have what is called the China Compulsory Certificate Mark. Commonly known as the CCC Mark, this is a compulsory safety mark and it's governed by the Certification and Accreditation Administration of the People's Republic of China. The certification body responsible for this mark on all electronic products in China is called the China Quality Certification Center. A more recent certification mark is the EAC Mark, or the Eurasian Conformity Mark. This mark demonstrates compliance with the technical regulations of the Eurasian Economic Union. It has independent testing laboratories accredited by the five members of the Eurasian Economic Union. These members are Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Armenia, and Kyrgyzstan. In Australia and New Zealand, they now have what is called the Regulatory Compliance Mark, or RCM Mark. 
This mark consolidates the certification process by combining compliance requirements for telecommunication equipment, wireless devices, and EME EMC testing. By placing this mark on products, manufacturers certify their product meets all applicable standards required for safety and performance. This process is done per Australian Communications and Media Authority guidelines and allows the product to now be sold in these regions. Now that we have gone over standards organizations and certification bodies, let's look at some common standards that we see for power supplies and how they apply in specific industries. These industries include audio video equipment, information and communications technology equipment, the medical industry, and the lighting industry. In the audio video industry, the main standard was known as IEC 60065. In the ITE industry, the main standard was known as IEC 6950-1. Both of these standards are being phased out in favor of a single standard, called IEC 62368-1. This hazard-based standard is designed for both audio-video equipment as well as information and communications technology equipment. The medical industry has its own safety standard, called IEC 60601-1. This standard is similar to the IEC 62368-1 for ICT. However, this standard has more stringent test limits pertaining to things such as leakage current and isolation levels. Lastly, the common safety standards relating to the lighting industry are UL 8750, UL 879, and UL 1310. UL 8750 covers light-emitting diode equipment for use in lighting products. Products certified to this standard can also obtain Type HL designation. This designation indicates the product is intended to operate in hazardous locations such as oil refineries and chemical plants. UL 879 is specifically for electric sign components. This applies to anything from neon signs to stadium scoreboards. UL 1310 covers class number two power units. Class number two power units provide output power levels in accordance with the National Electrical Code. This ensures that the energy output of the unit is safe to touch with no major safety protection required. You can't afford to waste any of your engineering time. So when you are searching for an ideal power supply that has the appropriate safety certifications for your application, give our office a call we will eliminate the complexity of selecting and purchasing your next power supply.